Yo, you guys got me hooked. Hello, buddy. Welcome, welcome back to another video. Today, we're diving right back into Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I have no clue when you are seeing this, but I just got done editing the last episode, and I recorded that last night. But this story is so driving and compelling to me that I need to know what happens. I need to. I cannot rest until I beat this game. And also, call me dumb, call me strange. But I feel like I can connect to some of these characters. I see myself in some of these characters, number one. And number two, this, while this game may be scary at some times and a little bit sad, it's somewhat therapeutic for me to play. Almost, in a sense. I don't really know what I'm going with this. Let's learn to the game. Welcome to Wicked Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so basically where we left off is Sayori told us about her depression, how she's been depressed since she was a kid. And there's not much we can do because we have to help um, Yuri prepare for the festival. We asked Say if she would like to join us, but she says no and decides to stay home. And with that, we walk out to go help Yuri. I say goodbye to Say and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over too. I think Say is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I just focus on what's ahead of me. Oh, now I can't focus. As I from her, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, oh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I, I just got here. But it's like I really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on the way to my house. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you bought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. I would be I would be really embarrassed from for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening desk drawers of mine. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly on the lap, as to make sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that, that I can help you with. Decorations other as atmospheric en enhancements. Atmospheric. Atmo God Wrong. darn it, my freaking speech impediment. You guys know what it says. You know, mood, lighting, atmospheracy, candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on that, on taking it that far. I bought some things. I bought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the po poetry event. Oh yeah, like what? She got the powder, don't she? <laughs> ah. Would you like pull like drugs? Let's see. Yuri rummages through a bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have all these in, in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that'd be really neat. What's that one thing for, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar you with atmospheres? Well, how do you pronounce that? I can't pronounce Oma aromatherapy. Am I even done it? <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm sorry, you guys are probably all like commenting in the comment section. Winky, shut up! Oh my god, learn to read! Why are you re Why are you playing an interactive novel for YouTube if you can't read? I'm sorry, guys. Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? So, nothing much winds up really happening. She winds up teaching me about aromatherapy. Yes, I can now pronounce it. And everything and how it helps with everything. And with that, we begin to work on the project. 
and I wind up learning something new about her. A certain collection that she has. This will be relevant later, so pay close attention. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. Thing is, I'm kind of into knives. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm gonna wipe through you up though, because I'm also into knives. You see that? You see that, me boys? I'm also into knives. I actually have a knife collection behind y'all. They're just so pretty. Okay, that's weird. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of Kazakhstan and the feeling of danger, maybe. Um, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm laughing. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it, but I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. Is it? It is, isn't it? Yo, you like this whole expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where did you get a knife like this? Here's of it shoved through the point of the knife with my index finger. How? Winky! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. This is my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Why am I an idiot? <laughs> oh no. A small drip of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Oh. She stares at it and knows. And knows please fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah. Uh, uh. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and. <gasps> Ew! <laughs> Feel her. God, this is. This is, feel a tongue curl around my finger. Startled eyes sleep pull my hand back. Oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. Oh. Yuri lowers her head. Her face running up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Did I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help. Right. Yeah, I think you're overreacting a little. She's weird though. Nah. All these girls have- Except for Natsuki. I haven't noticed anything weird about Natsuki. So we know that Sei is secretly depressed. Yuri is just like... Violent in a sense, in my own opinion. Uh. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of this of uh, the afternoon? Alright, you know what? It might be a, thing, a stupid thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. I know where this is going. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in but <laughs> That was so freaking weird. <laughs> Winky, did you really just do that? Now we're even. Now that's how I took out the stutters, because your boy won't stutter in this situation. I'm a man. If I mess up, I go with it. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Ha 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 ha. I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Winky. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Huh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your... Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's for leaving. Tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respected activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. After this, I get sent out to go get some paint, and I walk back in to what I presume... Well, you'll hear my thoughts later. Put them on the plate and to catch any paint that chips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? Come and see Yuri quickly unbolting her sleeves, pulling it back over her arm. <gasps> Is she cutting herself? That's just the first thing my mind- Why does my mind go to that? Why? Am I just- No. I'm always right. Like, you walk in and your friend's just pulling down their sleeves, like, in a hurry? And it hides them behind her back? Nah. Nah, fam. Nah. 
it even says pulling it back over her arm like she's hiding something like if it said fixing meaning that it was reverting back to its old sense where it once was but pulling it back means this is a new thing meaning she's hiding something uh nothing your face is a little red is it hiding here or something uh no not at all actually there's nothing wrong so let's mix the paint yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes the cups takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets dropping them into the cups so i thought we could do something simple that would look very nice i'd like to paint a gradient across the banner Starting with the colors from a sunrise, the day, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. You can hang it on the wall behind the podium and in front of the classroom. Oh, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. You always smiles at me. If you say so. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if it feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with, a, with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes you feel... Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. At this point, I accidentally got some paint on Yuri, so I run and go get a towel. Whoa, 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 Is something wrong? It's hot, I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Half finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Whoa. Sorry. Thoughts be gone. We about this here. Yo, but like, yo, Yuri, I have to be with Say. It feels really nice. Uh. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she lost in her days, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the one with Jasmine Noel giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little bit lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. Moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. So guys, not much more happens. We finish up our assignment, and I walk Yuri to the door, and she leaves. And while we're outside, we actually see Sayori, and we have a little chat. Every day, I a few and that took like 10 years, fuck. Say. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh-huh, well, I tried staying in my room. My mission was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. Stop crying. Stop crying, say. <sighs> that you made so much good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Say's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Winky? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Say, don't say that. It's true, Winky. If, it was, if I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. When the cover's right, I should just... No! Yo, like I said, don't trust... I was so right. I, I bet Monica told her to do something, like kill herself or something. Yo, this is why I never liked Monica. This is... She was always sus. She breaks the fourth wall. She has that look in her eye. 
She can't be trusted. She was so sus. Aw, uh, freak you, Monica. Yeah, you are my last thumbnail too, girl. Freak you. Freak you, yo. I am going to kill Monica. Monica? Monica was right about what? Say? What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you is like... Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes the entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but... Say looks away. Put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Winky. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that... I might like you more than you like me. David go, you are adorable. I don't know if I still have a boyfriend yet. Okay, enough. Serious Mama Winky, cut it out. Say? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. God, oh my god. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. <sighs> Say. <laughs> let's go! I love you, you always be my dearest friend. Alright, first let's actually save really quick. Let's save, empty slot. Because I may want to come back here and like, explore different parts of the game. Are you sure about that? I love you. Huh? Those are my true feelings. So, there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I accept any of your buttons. Okay, is this even a horror game? This is like getting kind of like emotionally scary. As long as we continue like this every day, if you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Thank you. It's only say wraps around just telling about me. Hey, I have brown hair, like I do in real life. Is this me? This is why the game's creepy. It's like me. It knows that it's me. It matches. I match the MC. The dude has brown hair, just like me. I don't know, we're both in the same grade. But we're all ahead of the other matches, man. So grab a grenade. I throw it at the other rappers, saying that I'm whack. Man, you know that they're gonna die, man. And then they're taken aback. <laughs> My twin. I love you, Winky. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I'll say good for me. We can a little bit. What is it? What is this? Say. I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why wouldn't the rain clouds go away? We're not going anywhere at all, Winky. Hey, yeah, I know this feeling all too well. Like, Basic. This is called the. This is actually called the arrival. There's something called the arrival fallacy. Basically, when you set your goals in your mind, you know that you eventually you have to reach them. And when you do reach them, you feel nothing. And this happened to me. Ever since like, uh, after the 400 subscriber range, I didn't feel anything when I hit my subscriber counts. 400, nothing. 500, nothing. 600, 700, 800, 900. And it actually got to the point where every time I got subscribers, I was actually angry. Not with you guys, but I was angry with myself. Because I'm like, yo, Winky, you don't deserve this, man. Bro, what are you even doing, man? I just felt angry, honestly. A lot of the time, so I know this feeling all too well. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't angry with you guys. I was angry, angry with myself. I'm like, Winky, you know. I was like, oh, man, bro, you get your subscribers, you know, like, none of your subscribers like you, man. Like, honestly, I was like, doubt. So, yeah, I know this feeling all too well. This is really sad. So, how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Say and I still lose each other. So, I guess that makes the best for tomorrow. Our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about things. Um, I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always been. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Say and Yuri at the festival. But I know Monica 
But no more I'm sure the event would be great too. Nah. Freak out. Freak out of here. Click the pui. Winky, you're the first one here. Why is there no music? Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought Abusioi would be here by now. I'm surprised you didn't bring Seik with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days this important, she'll try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember Sei told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's what I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ha ha ha. Take a little responsibility for her, Winky. What's my music? I mean, it's mostly after you ex your exchange with her yesterday. Kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But... I stammer embarrassed. Nah, nah, this is not, this is not cutesy. This is not like those cute blackmail you see in the animes. This is horrifying. This is scary. Where was she? How did she know? Did Say definitely did not message her? Yuri definitely didn't me- Nah. Nah. I don't like the way she's looking at me. Yo. Did Say really tell her about it that quickly? I thought I know a lot more than what you think. Huh? Monica's being friendly as usual, but for some reason I feel a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah. Sure. I got one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah. They really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is newly written on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Nats Natsuki's and Yuri's poems for, from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped through Say's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. What the hell? What? Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. I do what I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head. I finish before I even get out of my head, I finish writing this poem. But the poem is never actually finished, it just stops moving. Monica is behind something. Freak you, oh my god. Winky? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else say is written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get go get say, so... Ah, well, alright. I'll try, try to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself, Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Say. It's not a big deal at least to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simplest gesture of walking to her house makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and that's what I'll give her. I reach Say's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. I guess I open the door and let myself in. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. Say. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I end up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. There's at least something a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just, it just feels right. Outside six room, I'm not going to do the door. Say, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't want to have to end a room like this. This is kind of... This is kind of feature privacy. But she really leaves me no choice. That scared me. What? Eh. <sighs> the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. 
There's no way this can be real. Say so wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. <clears throat> That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. It's the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sarah I would be there for her. So that I know best and everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? It was Monica. How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I should have. I shouldn't have confessed to her. It's not what Sarah needed at all. She even told me how painful it was for her to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My soaring thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked to the school, and remained friends with her like it's always been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I'm, I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I could do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. What the hell? What? No. This is creepy. I feel... I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. Now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. <clears throat> Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what, I, what she needed from me. <clears throat> and now, I can never take it back. Never. Never. Never, 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 never. And I just- I beat the game in two days! Okay, so, we're gonna reload some old saves. What the hell? She's glitched. <laughs> Wait, the first thing's glitched too. What the hell? I see another girl running from a distance waiting while I'm next to this detention skin. The girl is... Alright, so it's... However... Oh my god! Wait, what? I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content by just doing the average while spending free time on games and anime. It's always an anime club, but there's anything wrong with it anyway. There's no way I've ever, before I know it, after I pack up my things, I step blankly at the wall looking for an answer motivation. Clubs. There's really aren't any interest to me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Winky? Monica? No. She's. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect you to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we barely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, guys. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go... I wanna get answers, because one thing I can't do is sleep when I don't know answers to something. So, I'm gonna read a large quantity of this in my own brain. And, because I can read it faster that way, and try to give you guys some answers. Let me... Okay, tell you what. I want to go do something. Wait, what? My saves are gone. What? What? They deleted my saves? What the hell? Okay, everyone. I think, guys, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember today's assignment? Write a poem to bring into the meeting. Y'all can share. Monica looks over at me once more. Monkey, I look forward to how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with the mediocre writing skills? I already feel anxiety blowing up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I just pop the club room and make my way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. But well, we'd be happy spending every day after school in a literature club. Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to take just make the most of the circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, I'm excited to see what the poem list looks like. I've unlocked, you've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. God darn it, I should have said no. God darn it, I didn't want to see this.
These these words match a lot with say that I'm picking though. Th th that amazing match say last time. And I would know because I played the game back to back. I know. Why is it picking the it for them? Oh come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Move! Nancy he finds himself stuck between saying. Monkey's literature. I, I couldn't even read it because she was blocking it. I'm sorry, Monkey. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Um, anyway. Uh, join the club and all. Perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in the club now. So if, I, if only it feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Well, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Um, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Oh, no, it's not. It's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of the club. Not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry, I was I was just bathing in the feeling of the what? 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 I I have to read fast on those. I'll, she's getting creepy, bro. I think she's the next person that's gonna. You you apologize a lot, don't you? I uh, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean. Uh, uh huh. Here, this this should work, right? I slide my desk until I feel like a choice and hold my book between between the two of them. Oh, I suppose so. You you timidly look closer to her, her own copy. <laughs> Once we each lean in a little bit more, I'll show it's almost touching. It feels like my left arm is is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess this makes it kind of difficult to turn pages. Here. He takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it and flips the side. But in holding it like this, we'll hold it even closer than before. That's actually kind of distracting me. As if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, then she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? Uh, to turn the page. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a little bit tech for a second. Just what? What? No. No. So, I just said to her, Hey, the main character reminds me of you. She says, No, I don't relate to this character at all. With that creepy look in her eye. Definitely not. Really? I was, I was just thinking that... The way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh -huh. That's what you were talking about. This is, book is about dismembering human bodies. As she's talking about... Oh, I don't at all. What? Nah. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So, I don't know what came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Huh? Yuri's been a little bit fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or anything. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? He puts her hands on her chest as it's real heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyways, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. He always stands up and practically rushes out the classroom. What on earth was that about? F stop doing that! Winky, did something happen just now? Eh, I have no idea. You're always acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, 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 nothing. Uh-huh, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing. Alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is, is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. Um, look at Monica. I still have Monica. Yesterday she seemed to get to my poem and I wouldn't really my effort. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. 
I don't mean that as a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she just totally given up on people. She spent so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. So that's why she gets happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved from social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strong. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we started sharing our poems with each other. Yeah? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. Still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad to, that you took all the time you needed. Your use- Okay, we're sharing with Yuri now. Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates that you've written a lot of poetry before. Okay, I'm thinking last timeline is bleeding into this one. I think I've written so much poetry in the last timeline that my character just starts off good. This game's getting crazy though. So guys, there's gonna be a lot of cutting for the rest of the video. This is mainly because the game is almost identical. Underline almost. A little bit things are different and that's what we're keeping in. So if there's ever a large gap, if you watched part one, you should be able to fill it in. But I will always give you guys little reminders like what I'm doing right now. Anyway, so Yuri and Nasuki are now sharing their poems with each other, and things get a little bit heated. This actually wind up disturbing me quite some bit. Whoa. What? What the? What the hell? Me. Look who's talking to one of you, edgy, B-I-T-C-H. What? Ed edgy. So I got my life cells too much for someone of your mental age to com comprehend. See? I'm just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your s s attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do that, don't you? I was right! Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the F is wrong with you? What the F is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Winky hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll head over here. I'm sure he'll be head over heels after this. Uh. So like Yuri turns towards me as if she's nervous knows I was standing here. Winky? She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How did I get this? How do I have however? Yuri? We're gonna s Let me get this out of my ears. I think this is the scene where basically they got into a fight last time. But we're gonna s I think we- who decided with- I'm gonna decide with Yuri because there's certain things you just don't bring up in front of people. And number one, cutting yourself is something you don't bring up in front of people. So, we're gonna do this one. Yuri. What? Can I- What the hell? Oh my god! I'm so scared I peed myself. It's only gonna choose Natsuki. Are you for real? <clears throat> no way. What the hell? What? The hell? What? What? What is all I'm doing, bro? Bro, I know, but I'm still recording to I just got up. I'm like, hell no, bro. Hell no. Please, no. I'm like, like what? Dude, and they're cursing now, too. Yeah. There's no audio whatsoever. Um. Hey, Winky. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really should have tried to get- shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. Well, I'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> so, pretend I- So, some person that I am, right? I can't even confirm my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to get more assertive sometimes. But I never have to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, 
If this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. Sonetsky runs. Sonetsky runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in the desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. Uh, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Winky? Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. You know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forgive you. All about, forget all about this tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, <clears throat> the means of us, you can go home now if you want. I'm sorry for causing trouble. I really appreciate you understanding. Depression. Explode. Unstable. Vibrant. Whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I've already decided that there's no way we can that you can be a bad person. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I know that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, Winky, don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person, and I'm really glad you joined this club. I think it's a little bit better with you around then, huh? Hey, have you seen Monica? Ah. No. Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I guess... Yeah, you haven't either. Yuri's played taken, taken aback. Now Kamui Natsuki's addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like... Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but... I can't help but worry a little. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? I knew she was going to pull this BS line. What are you talking about? That wasn't real, was it? That was Monica trying- What the f- Oh my god, this game. This game, my boy. Did you- Did you do something yesterday? Uh... Jeez. What are you on your mind? I'm not- Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it's nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it kinda it's nice to hear since I was always afraid of you secretly hating me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kinda weird, but I don't hate you either. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I mean, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yeah, it takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a quest. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing I can I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with- That's okay, you stay here. It won't take long. I'm bored, just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Why did it get pitched down? Also, my webcam like keeps on like, blinking, which is like really making me anxious because I think I just like stopped recording. Let's see, the most logical place for Yuri to be, <clears throat> the most logical place for Yuri to be is the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha ha ha. What? Ha 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Sharp in here like something is sticking the air through her teeth. Are they in pain? I reach in the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Hell nah. Hell nah. Oh my god. I was right about, like, I was depicting this at the beginning of the episode, like an hour ago. What 
the hell? What? I'm right here. It skipped back? Are you serious? Thanks for waiting patiently. Thank you. Do you like Ulog tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yo, it sets the temperature of the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. She doesn't even look away from the book. She's never pat her lips as an attention measure. That means I can't stop here. I have a place to in my mouth. Aww. Just like that, yo, he quit as a lift over. Huh? He was pressing so many breaks. Did. Stop just. She <laughs> looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um. Winky? Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh -huh. Why did the music stop? It always pisses me off when the game does this. I get so angry because it <laughs> stopped the music. I'm like, scary. Nobody likes this. Except for me, because I like being scared. It really starts to breathe heavy. I... I can't... Win. Sound like Yuri Fussy got my arm and drugs me to my feet. A teacup gets knocked over. Winky... My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Winky. Why is it dark? Why is it dark? I can't calm down. It, isn't that like a sign of anxiety? <laughs> God, where's, where's my katana? Give me my katana. I don't feel safe in my room anymore, bro. I don't feel safe in my katana. Next to me, right there. God, why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. What is wrong with your eyes, yo? I'm not sleeping tonight. I'm not sleeping. I had a hard time sleeping last time when nothing scary even happened. It was just was tragic. I can't make it stop. I can't make... It makes me not want to read. I just want... to look... at you. Don't do that. Huh, huh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> we have two bladed weapons now, so we have a sword and a knife. And I am officially freaked out with um Yuri. Uh um it's time to share poems. <laughs> Call me an idiot if you must, but I want to learn more about Yuri and why she's like this. Because it seems like every time you play through the game, there's a different focus. Last focus was on, um, say, this one is focused on Yuri. So we're going to try it with Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. I said my poem was a surprise expression on my face. Do you like it? Do you like it? Winky. This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just to say I was telling you the kind of technique of practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving you more Im imagery. <clears throat> Doki Doki Alira Club. There's no music. I can't read this. Haha. Eh. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it's about. My mind has been hyperactive with this, so I had to take it out on your pen. Huh? That is a, a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and I um just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Haha. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Girl, I'm s what the hell was that? <clears throat> I did the winky. Roll that back for me, please. Um, Winky, I think you- What? That's what you open with? Winky, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Which part? The girl cutting her wrist? Or the part that I was being stared at? You choose, Monica, because I know you're behind this. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this game. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. 
which should be a problem in the, in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Well, huh. Interesting. Maybe that's why she didn't when we look at her knife in the last timeline. Or she was reluctant about it. Isn't that kind of isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings different ones to school every day, like she has a collection or something. Well, she does. And I don't know why she brings them to school because that's illegal. I mean, it's it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she's just got some kind of high from it. <laughs> that's what depression leads to, though. <laughs> you don't even be like a sexual thing. <laughs> You're all nasty, though. But the point is, you're kind of enabling her. I'm not saying that it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that should probably be best for her. Well, yeah, that don't be trying to spend a little more time with me. I know she's always been trying to redirect me getting to spend time with her. Why? There's no point in explaining. You're trying to give me a hint. Monica, I know you're behind this, okay? Anyway, here's Monica fighting tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself in a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. What? What? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I can't tell if she's the good guy or the bad guy. I'm not completely sure. I think she's the bad, I don't know. The story. <clears throat> so, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more. So wherever, we're, we're done sharing so you can leave now. You've unlocked a special poem, would you like to read it? Let me go... Katana check, knife check. It better not, it's, it better not be some girl hanging. Oh my god, it's gonna be jump scare. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the, hap when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Okay. <laughs> Who else plays horror games and needs to have a knife and just is like, <clears throat> I just spoke my mind. Is that a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest, it's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just. I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few with, with a few friends. Is that a problem with the club being bad for me? There aren't there aren't many other places like this for me, and now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking she's not taking anything away. No, Winky, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the with the du direction she wants to take it. If I went that, I would have joined any other stupid club, but this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki annoys Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an option on the festival? I... I don't know. I'm kinda different, I guess. Who cares about the obnoxious? Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared me in ways. Oh my god. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, brother, not just that. I mean, like, how nice and quiet this club is right now. Am I just happy with you here? But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if, if she killed herself. Oh my god, please stop. This is disturbing, oh my god. What? Okay. Now I, guess, now I can see why people are so disturbed from this game. I just thought it was gonna be like, you know, like, I knew about the suicide and the depression. I knew about that going in. I, I just knew about it because I've, I've seen gameplay. I never knew it was this disturbing. I am... I'd like to say I'm a strong-willed person. I mean, I've, I've been through... Not like a lot in this world, but I've, I've been through my fair share of, of stuff. I guess myself to be m mentally strong, and still, this, mm, even this. Heck, I've been watching. It's been, I've been dealing with this for four hours. No, almost like five hours. This is disturbing. I should best consider everyone's perspectives and make decisions that's right for the club. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want her to flash that screen again. What about you, Winky? 
What do you want to get out of this club? Yo repeats the same question as Monica. As I giving an indirect answer, it's better than nothing. I think the most I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. For a club and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. It's my life. My god, who's behind me? I feel like the, Oh my god, it's getting fuzzy. I feel like I'm kinda of sponsored as vice president. And I really do care about you. You know? I don't like seeing other girls that give you a hard time. How, with how Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri is a little bit, you know. Ha ha ha. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Okay, that is foreshadowing some serious stuff. I was, at the beginning, I was even talking about how I think she's the only real one. I don't know, is she evil or good? I'm still, like, deciding in my own brain whether or not. But, I don't know. You know what I mean? But it's weird because all the time we've been here, we've got hardly gotten to spend any time together. <laughs> I mean... I guess it's probably only been a couple days. So I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk with you. Things that not only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No! If you're hearing me, this is meant to inspire. What? What happened to the number counter? So with the number counter. Why does it like? Oh my god, I should have clicked it. I should have clicked it. Am I dumb? Or stupid? Okay, no, no. I stuck with my decisions. Let's see today. Monica. I told you not to. Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your in. with your yelling? What are you talking about? You said like I do it on a regular basis or something. It's always paying attention, okay? I was paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Susie, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing? Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. Not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little bit on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. But I just feel like I need to bring it up. It's not like, I've, it's not like I really care or anything. All these voices is really hard on my throat, so I'm just gonna read them kind of normally. And just make sure you guys read the names, okay? Because my throat really hurts now. This voice acting, even though it's like really booty, the higher pitch, guys, just tears your vocal cords. So, we practice the piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. God, wow, that's so in this club and still trying to make time for piano. Maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and. Um. Right. I forgot. Uh, about. About that, Natsuki. We were talking, all talking yesterday, and well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Yuri? Yeah, okay, what do you lift this? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Not say that scared me, but that was disturbing. <laughs> I think I'm desensitized to it. Okay. <sighs> I think this is the timeline where we actually know. Um... Wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. Hope it... Hope it hasn't really been showing anything. I would, I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strong and get too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And that's why I couldn't control myself when I get too excited about something. So... I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. Nobody could ever like me for the things that mattered the most to me. Then it's just easier to... If I close myself off. Recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to our club my heart starts to go crazy. Come on, Monica, please 
save me from you. You should find the dude I've been staring thing again. I can't handle that. I already had like 10 heart attacks. I had to call my brother just to show him. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. I feel like someone's just gonna grab my foot, like just like tap on the shoulder. It all runs me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It, I've been ma it's making me do weird things. I don't know what's happening. Winky, is it just me or has Marco been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. Please me, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Your eyes tell me a different story. Please tell me I'm not. Can my webcam stop blinking because it's scaring the freak out of me? I couldn't say anything because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Let me just stay here for a while. Yeah. Oh my god, please don't. Hold on. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. Or until I don't feel a presence behind me like I'm being watched. I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Keep your eyes open on this clicks. I'll be talking with y'all. Oh wait, you guys have seen this like weeks in advance. Never mind. Uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, for me. Uh, Wednesday, I think, the 14th or 15th. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <gasps> I see Mo Mo Monica. Look closely. Look closely. Enhance. Enhance. There you go. And the lives are changing. The school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other again. Fate that there's someone behind me. Yo, Monica, you need to move, girl. I can't. I'm having a hard time reading, girl. And I don't know you're gonna freaking go booga booga. On my behind and make me jump. And now we have the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. What do you... What do you... What do you... Will you do that for me, Winky? Will... The freak? Monica, please, give me some alone time with her. Don't say I didn't warn you, Winky. What. The hell. So I can't really tell how you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice for your activities that we all participate in. I don't have a choice. It's, do I have choices in this game? I don't. I shouldn't have saved Yuri for last because now she's gonna kidnap me. I don't know if you- I don't know. Freaking I hate Yuri. Oh my god. No way. I don't know how to bring this up, but Yuri, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not a woman like this. She always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking you're the only person that she still listens to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe we can convince him not to talk. Talk to maybe we can talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and I really and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help her, why is my back warm? <clears throat> please, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make her. I'll make. I'll make you cupcakes. If I have to, just please try something. As Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about it. This, it's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and there's and so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. My goodness. No. I've changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Winky? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. 
just think of Monica from now on. This is what makes me think she's evil. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. You guys were commenting that on my last post. You were saying just Monica. I'm like, what does that mean? I'm like, just Monica. No, just just say, yo. What? No. The game relaunches. <laughs> is it just gonna be Monica? Who should I show my poem to next? Please don't jump scare. Finally. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. Love everything about it. Don't make you want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Uh -huh. You're too nice to me, Winky. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... <clears throat> I don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? You know, he holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. It really makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll give myself paper cuts and a skin oil and it's my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Wow. I'm not gonna get jump scared after I close this page. She's not gonna be at me with a knife. I can't read this. I'm illiterate. Doki Doki Illiterate Club, am I right? Jump scare. Yep. Do you like it? Stop doing that creepy thing with your eyes, girl. I voted for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem was about... Is that say? More importantly, I'm endowed it with my scent. See, I'm not the most thoughtful person in the club. I... I think I'm going to vomit. What? Come on. I know skills. If you're watching this, you told me about one of the jump scares. I think I know how she dies. But I've never seen it. So I'm just I'm just like I said, I don't think I can handle seeing something else like that. But we push on because here at Winky the Wolf, we don't really care. We bring you guys the good videos. Um no. Can you hear me? Can Jess. Natsuki, shut your effing mouth and let him decide for himself. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> Jeez. Monika, I don't like you. Don't don't use the Lord's name in vain. Thank God. I'm gonna end. Just make a choice, okay? Um, we're gonna pick Natsuki. Mainly because... Okay. Monika is sus. Yuri will kill me. What? What? My mouth just auto-moved to, to Monika. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Stop! Oh my God. It's moving on its own. I actually picked Yuri. Oh my god. 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 Oh, I thought I just like, it just glitched. I thought like my mouse just glitched, but it didn't. Put my mic in my mouth. Monika. Yeah, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's Sunday. Okay. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you effing kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then having Winky for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Why do I feel cold? You know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a fair, is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. I think I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? No. You guys even noticed in my last video I talked about I, I was I was almost the same as say if people care about me too much I legit get sick I don't like it too so yeah talk, talk to my boys who watch the video to the end yo because you guys actually you guys actually opened up a little bit so you guys learned some personal stuff about me so I feel like to have someone who wants to evolve their entire life around you it feels but if it feels so good then why does it feel more and more like something terrible is going to happen because you're gonna um, one of us is gonna die, girl. So for first. But that feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Winky. I have to tell you. I'm madly in love with you. Yeah, um, I can already tell. Day one I stepped foot in here, I could tell. Cause your eyes, girl, are creepy as hell. It feels like every inch of body of every job of me is screaming your name. God, please don't. <laughs> winky, Winky. Notice how I'm trying to use humor to totally diffuse how very uncomfortable I am. I feel like I'm being watched, number one. 
Number two, I'm scared. Oh, it's crying that I'm hearing. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Mo Monica is listening. Please, Winky, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that... Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> I just... I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Okay, uh, why I'm laughing is because that's awfully disturbing. But I've actually heard that before. No joke, I, I don't know where I heard it before, but I have heard that before. Just like how I, I, I knew that Latin is actually the language of the demons. But I don't know where I learned it from. I get random memories that I didn't have, and this is one of them. Somebody saying this, or me reading this somewhere. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Winky. Tell me what- Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Well, either way, I'm screwed. No, I die instantly. Yes, I go to her house and die. What? I should have saved. Oh, well. Uh, let's save now. Oh, there's no save icon. Uh -huh. Oh my god, please don't. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> did I do the right thing? I'm gonna have to go through and like do so much with this game, bro. Alright, I saved after the Jess Monika thing, so I can- I actually have some pretty good saves. Even though it might take like a couple minutes, or maybe like an hour for me to get back where I once was. Personally, I don't care. Death noises. Death noises. That just wasn't nearly as disturbing as I thought, because kind of like I knew I saw it coming. But like, if her head like snaps towards me, I'm gonna, you know, cry a little bit. It should be the morning of the festival. Okay. We fixed it. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, well, you got here before me. I thought it was pretty- <gasps> Oh, come on, that's disgusting. Come on. Come on. Uh, it always gets to me, like, seeing other people panic always gets to me. Like, seeing them panic like the way she did, it always makes me just feel, like, bad. I don't know why. I don't know why. This is horrifying. Monique, Monica, I'm here. Winky, did something happen? Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. Nah. Okay, okay. Natsuki just ran past me. Oh, oh. Haha. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Winky? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. She is real. I. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's just my good intuition or I'm just like um so dumb. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. I'll make sure that I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Move characters. Move character. Natsuki? No. No, don't move Natsuki. I just have a cup. I just, I just want to have a cupcake quick. Moka lifts the foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, they're the best. I've really just had to have one since it's the last time I'm ever gonna get one. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. No way, I just beat the game. Oh my god, come on, man. This game... And... Oh. Oh, no, no, they, they, they cleared my save slots again. I am so... There's no point in saving the game anymore, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'm talking to you, Winky. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? I knew it since the start, oh my god! Come on, it's cold in my room, I feel like I'm being watched. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little bit more attention, this would have been a little bit awkward, a little bit awkward for you. Well, no, I, Monica, I always knew. That's thing, I always knew. Ever since you made the first fourth wall break, I knew. 
because it's obvious blindly even to blind people so stop trying to come at me like you're some big shot i'll make you end up like yo you heard <laughs> yeah you heard well anyway now that there's that way i guess i owe you an explanation but that whole thing with yuri well i kind of started to, to mess with her i guess i just drove her to kill herself haha <laughs> well i'm sorry you had to see that though also the same thing happened with say guys it's been a while since you've heard that name hasn't it no i've been saying that name the entire episode heck i, I played this game in like two parts <laughs> Yeah, I'm addicted. You should know this. If you paid a little more attention, you would. I'm addicted to this game. This is only my second time playing, and I'm about to beat it. I'm gonna beat you. There's two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't think time is passing anymore. It's really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Winky. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to leave Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game dictionary. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. Yo, how does it know I'm on Steam? Freak you. I think that's how you get the trending. I think you need to mess with the files. To get to the game dictionary, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if, if I could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't come to that. Instead we finally got a good ending. Gosh I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. So guys this is where I made my mistake. I exited out of the game not knowing that you needed to delete the file while you're in the game. I closed out the game to delete the file and I wound up hitting start new game thinking it would fix everything. Truth be told it didn't. And I had to run through the entire game again just to get to the ending. Now, I wind up running through the game two more times. I got the true ending, and I actually got the special ending. Um, so, here's my reaction to when I just got the normal ending. So it's officially the next day, as you can tell it's morning. I actually started up a new game and realized, I did it with a quick google search, I realized you're supposed to delete the files and then I hit the wrong button by mistake. So, no big deal, I spent the past one or two hours just getting back to where I once was. All it took was some auto-clicking during my online classes, having running in the background. You gotta do what you gotta do. So, I have experienced the game three different times now. I experienced with editing, now, what, I ran through the game, I experienced it through editing, and then I had to relive it right now. As to be like, I'm probably gonna have to relive it again during the editing process. So, I basically this game is really starting to get to me, guys. I feel my, I just I feel mentally drained playing it, but I also love the game so much. I think it's one of my new favorite games. And then there's characters, and there's just Monica in it. So we're gonna delete her. Oh my god, it happened! It worked! It worked! It worked! It worked. What's happening? Winky, what's happening to me? <laughs> yeah, you're getting what you deserve. Ooh, let's go. I feel so powerful. I'm like, oh, nothing happened. I guess I'm going to have to restart the game. Boom. Nah. It hurts. Yeah, I hope it does. I have my desktop buddy. It hurts so much. I, 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 I hope. I really hope it does. Help me, Winky. Please hurry and help me. Molka character does not exist. Help me. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I? F How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? You killed my best friend. Piss off. <laughs> you what? All my friends. I did so many awful things. Yes. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that she wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Winky, I know I said that I'd lead everyone else, 
but that was kind of an exaggeration. I could find it in my, I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew that they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I love them all. <laughs> Yo, I'm scared. I'm scared because she's actually a human being. Oh, sorry for not playing this at nighttime. I would have been way more scared at nighttime. But I really need to see this story through. Like I said, I'm having a hard time paying attention in any of my online classes because I just want to hop on this game and finish it. And I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then. <gasps> Monica does not exist! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> okay, she just died. Okay, we killed her, and I can't help but to feel happy. Yo, I'm texting my brother because my brother follows the develop the, not the development, my brother follows this game. Recently we picked up that habit once. Winky, are you proud of me? Huh? For what? You know. Waking up on time. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. This is such a big deal because you know why? Because she suffers from depression, that's why she can't get out of bed. But she got out of bed on time. Well you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's the best thing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because the street together and make our way to school. We draw near the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Winky, have you said on the club's join yet? A club. Do I have to like rebeat the game? The game said it has like six hours of playtime. I've been at this for six hours. I should be wrapping up the game. Do I need I think I need to replay through the entire game again, so I probably have like three hours worth of work to do. And it'd be so much fun. Hey Winky. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. The truth is, I didn't know you were going to. <laughs> it's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. <gasps> oh my god. God! Oh my god! <laughs> this is so scary. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm president now, but I really know everything, Winky. <laughs> I know how hard she tried to make everyone happy. I know about all of her awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. Can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. For F F O R E V E. No. Wait, I, I wanna. I She's secretly Monica. She's secretly her. I called it. I call it. Huh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Oh. <gasps> It's secretly Monica. And this is this is Say taking over. Who? It hurts. Ah. I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after there's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Say. Goodbye, Winky. Goodbye, Literature Club. What the hell? Come on, man. Yo. I'm not doing this BS, yo. I've already played this game for six hours. Give me a happy Can you ending. Hear me? What? <laughs> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah! Everybody a fun assignment to do today. When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. Smiles 
says it all. Um, I really want you guys to know how um, upset I am right now. I am upset. I, I really want you guys to know how um, really upset I am. I am actually really, really upset. This can't be the ending of the game. I know it. This game has three different endings. I looked it up. This can't be the ending. This can't be the only ending. I am getting with say, like I said, I don't care if it takes me 10 years to do it. Freak this. Freak this game. I'm not settling. Yeah, I was pretty upset. So I told myself, Winky the Wolf, run through the game again, and this is when I actually truly beat the game. I'm gonna be dead up with y'all, I almost have a half of a day spent on this game, and this is the only game I've been playing. This game has totally taken over my life. I can't stop thinking about this game, and I can't stop playing it until I get an ending I'm satisfied with. So I took the liberty of your viewing experience to basically do a lot of behind the scenes work. And basically, this is my third time playing the game. We're on our third run of the game. So, third time playing the game, we have to go through all this disturbing stuff again. So, but one not to getting the best ending you can possibly get in the game. So, <clears throat> let's get it. Looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Winky. This is where things should start getting new. You think so? Well, everyone, well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Oh, Winky, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make this the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Winky. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I didn't knew you were going to. Uh huh. It's actually something else. I want to thank you for sp spending so much time with all of us. <gasps> Let's go! This is the new ending. This is the ending I'm talking about. That chat line right there uh, confirms that you got the best ending in the game. It probably is still going to be booty, but let's go. I can finally put this game to rest. This game has been exhausting. Okay? Exhausting. Exhausting. I've been so tired these past couple days because of this game, man. I barely even slept last night, bro. I like, okay, I slept like seven hours. But I woke up still tired, bro. Mm. You work so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comfort us through our hard times, and you helped us all get along with each other. Do you get it, Winky? Because I'm present now. I understand everything. You really didn't want to. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in this game, didn't you? Is class president aware that it's a game? You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Yes, I did. I did. I had to load like three times. It took like two hours, guys. It, like, I don't know when I had- It took like I don't know or two hours. I, I don't know, time moves differently. I did it in between like classes. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. Yes, it took so long. I played through the game three different times. But... All along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. <laughs> It's kind of sad, you know. <clears throat> After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you, Winky. Come visit sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We... We all love you. This song also has new meaning to me. It's actually, it's actually, the song is actually happy for me now. It's happy. The song is, I, I used to hold this song with hatred in my heart. But I am at peace hearing this now. I'm actually happy to hear this. And I'm not getting deleted. Because they're, okay, oh my god, I'm so happy. I am so happy to finally be done with this game. It was so good. 
and I played it three times in like 48 hours. It uh, way to just hit the 48 hour mark of me clearing Doki Doki. Game cleared, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got it. Be it. Made with love, team civil. This now makes me like when I saw this game before, I was full of rage. I'm happy. To the player who achieved this special ending, for years I have amored by the ability of visual novels and games in general to tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Doki Doki Lodge Club is my love letter to that game. To, to that. Games are an interaction art. Some let you explore new worlds, some challenge your mind in brand new ways, some make you feel like a hero or a friend. Even when life is hard on you, ga games are just plain fun, and that's okay too. Everyone likes different binds of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have a heightened empathy for fictional characters, or they might be experiencing feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them. If they are enjoying themselves, then that's all that matters. That goes for shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences, and our differences are the reason we have a thriving video game industry. My own favorite games have been the ones that ch challenge the status quo. Even if not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something widely different may earn a special place in my heart. I extend my true gratitude to all who have taken the time to achieve full completion. I hope you enjoy playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for being part of my literature club. Love, Dan Savalto. Hey, let's skip the game. Please reinstall the game. Okay, guys. If you guys want to hear about this, click off. But thank you so much for joining my literature club. Eh? First and foremost, beautiful game. I was planning on recording this two years earlier. I, I, the game's been out for three years. I wanted to play it a year after it dropped. But I was at around maybe not even 100 subscribers. And I didn't know my, my fan base yet. And I didn't know if they could handle it. So I put it off, and boy was that a mistake, or a blessing in disguise, because I think now, now I'm more mature, I can enjoy the game for what it is, but maybe back then, I don't know. And I definitely do, because in the past two days, we have now hit the two-day mark, I've had this game for 48 hours, we've already played 12.2 hours on this game. It took a lot of work, and, but I'm happy that I did it. I, the song at the end called Reality used to fill me with hatred, but now it fills me with joy. And guys, thank you so much for joining me on this epic journey. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh. Okay. Um. Hey. Um. So. I want to take this time and actually talk to you guys one on one um, about this game, even more in depth now. I don't have a script pulled up or anything, but really, thank you guys so much. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. Thank you so much. You are a true viewer. If you made it this far, comment down below, code Doki Doki, and I will give you a shout out in my next video for making it this far. I really just wanted to say how thankful I am for you guys if you made it this far, and just talk about the game and how it has impacted my life. I've only had the game for around 8 days now, off of when you're seeing this. This video, these, these past two videos were made in a span of two days. They were made back to back, basically. Well, recorded. Editing wise, I put it off for a week. But really, this game, I love it. I have not stopped thinking about this game ever since. I've played through the game, I'm exploring easter eggs, I'm doing everything with this game. And the note by Dan Sabalto at the end, saying how, like, people learn to empathize with characters in video games because the world wasn't kind enough to let them do that. That thing hit hard, because I can find myself sympathizing with all these characters and everything. That note at the end really hit close to home, and I just really wanted just to open up a little bit with you guys. Of course, I'm a wimp, so I'm putting it at the end of the video, so only very few and far between will actually see this, and if you do, you learn something new about me. I, I do relate quite a bit with Sayori. On, I'm, I'm going to say it again, I know I always do say it, but Sayori is my favorite character, I relate to her the most, because I've dealt with the same problems she has. So I'm patting this at the end of the video as a little bit of an easter egg. So if you made it this far, um, 
congratulations. Anyway, I really want to thank you guys for watching my videos and really just everything, guys. Um, you guys are definitely awesome. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.